Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. And joining me now is Jean McGlynn. How are you keeping? I am great. Thank you, Megan. I'm so excited. To ch- I'm just, I'm loving that we're chatting now about actual things that are happening. And Defying Gravity is the latest show coming to the Lime Tree Theatre. Can you tell us all about it? Yeah, so um, Defying Gravity, we wanted it to be a, a celebration of, um, of women. Uh, you know, keep it really, really positive. Um, and uh, just, you know, we're really concentrating on kind of happy material for it. The Lime Tree Theatre got onto me. They're doing um, they're doing a series called Into the Stream, and they had already done one. Um, they'd already done one. It was a, a trad session, which was absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. And uh, they wanted something to cater for the musical theatre audience, so they got onto me. And uh, they, you know, they they didn't say either way what they wanted. You know, they just said we want something musical theatre um you know and that will kind of bring in other genres as well and I said okay well I know that International Women's Day is coming up so how about we um we do something for that and um it just so happens that um Jessica Bray and Holly O'Donoghue um are were both around um in Limerick because um it was important that we had somebody that was nearby and accessible um and normally Holly is off uh traveling around the world she was on a ship when um, lockdown hit, yeah, so um, she was entertaining on a ship doing, you know, like big West End musical numbers. And of course, uh, she returned to um, to stay with family um, over the last few months. So I knew she was around. So I said, are you around? And uh, she said, I am. And I said, want to do this? And she said, OK. So um, so she's on board. And then I got on to Jessica and Jessica and I have worked together over the last number of years on various projects. And she is just a dream to work with. So, you know, I've worked with her both as a director and uh, a performer as well. Um, and it was just, uh, you know, the fact she's in the midst of homeschooling at the moment. And I said, <laughs> any chance? And she said, yes. And I said, fabulous. <laughs> so we're all uh, we're all lined up and, and ready to go. So we're beavering away. Um, and then I got on to Owen Scanlon and John Daly and uh, Peter Hannigan. And they've all agreed to come on board and be our band. And then we needed a presenter. So we have the fantastic Anne Blake, who Amazing. is going to uh, to present. So she's going to be, you know, coming in with intermittent links and, you know, filling everybody in about what's happening next. So, um, yeah, so that that's kind of basically it. Um, you know, in terms of in terms of material, we're looking at um, stuff by Barbara Streisand, um, Judy Garland, wow. Liza Minnelli. We've got Dolly Parton in there. We've got a little bit of Lady Gaga. Oh, um, brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's just, you know, kind of piecing loads of different fantastic numbers. And um, some numbers are real, you know, empowerment numbers. And then other numbers are just, you know, stories of women. So but the, the the big thing is that we're we're keeping it positive we're keeping it happy and celebratory because international women's day is a day of celebration so that's what we're trying to do and i think that's what we you know that's what we need at the moment we need celebration absolutely it just sounds incredible there and just just some of the the people from limerick you've mentioned and some of the amazing female artists as well and um, i'm already like having these visions in my mind and um, jean talk to us about what it's been like for you because obviously you were heavily involved in the arts and it's the industry that has been massively affected by this whole lockdown in this year so like for you now being able to to put something together again i suppose it gives some hope and you know it's i suppose adapting to the virtual world as well so like how has it been yeah. for you um well I, I have I have two careers so I have a performing career and I have a teaching career so of course uh, I teach performing arts and I have a, a stage school frontline stage school and um, I also teach in UL um, I teach performance uh, to the third level students in the Irish World Academy so um, you know both of those things moved online um, in, in actual fact just just the UL stuff moved online um and that's been a real learning curve for me in terms of teaching and and how we can adapt performance um to the online space um and then in terms of performance of course you know it was it was very difficult because everything is gone um and i just when i got the phone call from the lime tree it was the first time that i thought oh my gosh i'm actually going to be in a space with other people singing this is incredible um so in terms of how it's been 
artistically it's been lonely because I miss other collaborators. That's been really difficult not being with other people. Um, we were doing some filming the other day um, and we, we were singing together in, in the same space um, because we we're allowed to do that. The guidelines allowed us to, to come together for a, a short time to, to film. And, um, you know, just singing with three, with two other voices live was just, <laughs> it sent a shiver up my spine and we all got a little bit emotional, um, but it felt like such a privilege. Um, and just, you know, being back in that creative space is just wonderful. Um, but it's been, it's been, it's been tough, but it's also been great because, you know, we've learned lots of new things about how to adapt and change and, um, you know, exploring the, the virtual space. It's not the same. It's very, very different. Um, but we, we've learned, if nothing, we've learned to appreciate what it is we do. Um, and that's been, that's been wonderful. And when we do get back to it, um, then we will have a newfound appreciation for what it is we do, both as artists and both as yeah, and and as audiences as well. Absolutely, I think that's one thing I've noticed throughout this whole year is how everyone is craving um, a, a live event, a live gig. Do you know, like music stage, and I think it, I think once doors are open again, it's people are just going to be flooding in because everyone wants that. And as you said. The, the real life interaction you just can't beat it and I know everyone has adapted to the virtual world and I have to say myself even when I watch things online um it just gives me that bit of like I suppose it makes you realize how much you miss it but also how much you can't wait for it to come back as well exactly exactly and you know being able to do gigs like this as well you know it, it really does remind people about the the live space you know lots of people are doing stuff coming from their own bedrooms or coming from a studio on their own actually seeing people together in a live space it's wonderful you know i've i've been watching um uh my my sister-in-law she's been doing lots of work and and um appearing on tv and it's been great to be able to see her with her musicians you know all in the <laughs> same space because you know before we were looking zoom videos where they you know were, were piecing bits together and and one was coming live from Donegal and the other was coming live from Kerry and and it's the same for us you know we were we were all um trying to to piece different bits together and and uh you know but actually seeing people come back together and that's the first step is seeing people together in, in the space um and you know we we do have all the protocols in 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 place you know we're all keeping our distance and uh, wearing our masks and we have to and keeping far apart and um you know but the fact that when you know that we we can actually be together in the same space and we can share that with uh, you know a virtual audience and hopefully soon a real audience as well which would be great I know we can't wait for that moment but of course for now we can't wait for for defining gravity march 8th lime tree theater for more information i know it's going to be incredible from what you just said there jean mcglynn thank you so much for chatting to me on the limerick show megan thank you so much for having me it's been a privilege and we look forward to seeing everybody online